Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Audrey and in today's video I want to talk about wardrobe essentials. So we're going to go over what makes a wardrobe essential, why I think they're so important for a well-rounded personal style, and then also how you can pinpoint your own unique wardrobe essentials because those can definitely differ from person to person depending on where you live, your lifestyle, and your preferences. So let's start things off with what makes a wardrobe essential. Wardrobe essentials are basically the building blocks of any great wardrobe. They serve as the base or the blank canvas for all of your looks. These pieces stand the test of time, so they tend to skew more classic than trendy, and they can be mixed and matched effortlessly for endless outfits. Plus, when chosen carefully, these pieces can and should last you for many, many years. Now let's go over why a strong foundational wardrobe is so important not only for a closet that works for you rather than against you, but also to serve as a springboard to showcase your personal style. Much like building a house that starts with a strong foundation, wardrobe essentials are the foundation of any great style and they serve as the canvas to display your accessories and your personal flair. So if you think of women with great style and then you break down their looks piece by piece, you'll notice that they all start with a strong foundation of essentials that they then build upon. These pieces not only make getting dressed easier, but they also give you the freedom to accessorize and elaborate your outfits in a way that feels unique to you because instead of spending your morning trying to put together a basic outfit, you already have that sorted. So you can take that time and spend it doing your hair or changing up your makeup or layering, layering on different accessories and outerwear and shoes all of which really help you as an individual stand out and showcase your personal style to the world. Now let's go over how you can identify your own personal wardrobe essentials. These are pieces that, like I said, are gonna serve as the foundation for your wardrobe. They're gonna be the workhorses. They're the items you're gonna wear almost every single day and on heavy rotation. So you really wanna make sure they're pieces that you feel comfortable in, that suit you and your lifestyle, and are in a fabric, a cut, and a color that are uh, perfect for you and your personal preferences. So to help hone in on what these are for you, because they can be different for every person, I'm gonna run through some very easy steps that helped me. These are the things that I did when I was trying to cultivate my personal style and all the while streamlining my wardrobe because I knew what I really liked to wear so I could get rid of the, the noise basically. So let's start off with step one. Step one is to get inspired and compile your list. So just like cultivating your personal style, inspiration is key. I recommend starting this step with a simple Google search. Just plug in wardrobe essentials or must have essentials, must have wardrobe pieces, and then compile all of those lists that you find into a master list that you think will work for you. So you're gonna notice a lot of overlap here and it's okay to have a list of maybe 20 items to begin with if you think they're all things that are gonna potentially work work for you. Also, the important thing here is to make sure that you are honest with yourself in your initial list because that's really going to give you a springboard to help hone things and tweak them so that they are right for you as you start experimenting with them down the road. For the sake of example, let's use my own list as a starting point. So my top 10 wardrobe essentials are a white shirt, a black t-shirt, a white t-shirt, a striped t-shirt, black pants, black skirt, classic sweater, or a pretty blouse if you live in a very warm climate, classic jeans, neither a mid or dark wash, a classic black blazer, and then a black dress. Once you have your list in a pretty good place, you're gonna to wanna to go to your closet and pull out those items so you can plan some outfits around them. Now, using my list as an example again, let's say I have those 10 pieces on my list, but only four or five of them in my actual closet. That's fine, don't go shopping right now, don't jump the gun because you'll end up wasting your time and your money, and instead work with those pieces that you already have. And then you're gonna to wanna to plan some outfits, including those items. So plan some outfits around the black pants or the black skirt the black dress and then actually wear them honestly evaluate them make sure that they work for your everyday life maybe you have two black skirts for example an a-line and a pencil and as you start wearing them you realize that the a-line doesn't really work for your lifestyle maybe you've been told you should wear an a-line or everyone else seems to have an a-line so you have it in your closet but 
really wear it. It doesn't feel like you. It feels too uncomfortable. Then remove that. Don't get rid of it entirely yet, but remove it from your essentials and make a note on your list. As you're going through this process, you'll start to notice that certain pieces work really well and others just do not. <laughs> so anything that works gets added to your final list of essentials and it gets a permanent spot in your closet. And anything that doesn't should be reevaluated and then personalized and tweaked for you. So for example, let's say that you had a white shirt on your list and the white shirt in your closet happened to be a collared button down with very long sleeves. That is the standard style that everyone seems to have and you feel like you should too. So it's been sitting in your closet, but as you start wearing it as part of your wardrobe essentials and you start using it in everyday life, maybe it just doesn't feel like you. Maybe you don't like a button down style. Maybe you really don't like the angular collar. Maybe you prefer short sleeves or maybe you prefer a flat front or pleating. Whatever it is, this is your moment to personalize things. So remember that the key with wardrobe essentials is that they create a base or a blank, a blank canvas. So a white shirt, in theory, only needs to be white. It doesn't need to be a white collared button down. It can be any version of a white shirt that works for you. And the more honest you can be with yourself throughout this entire process, the better your list of essentials is going to be, and then the better your wardrobe is going to work for you. It'll just make the whole thing a lot more enjoyable. Don't feel like you have to copy what someone else is doing or everyone else has a white button down so you think you should too. No. The key here is to personalize things so they work for you rather than against you. And last but not least is to always reevaluate and have fun. So fashion should be fun. I'm a huge believer that fashion should be an enjoyable part of your day and it should help supplement the life that you're leading. So try not to take it too seriously. Try not to get too overwhelmed and definitely always be reevaluating what you do have and what you wear because our lifestyles are always changing and our personal styles are changing. So don't be afraid to let your closet ebb and flow with you as you personally evolve. And there you have it. That's a really quick crash course in wardrobe essentials and how you can identify your own unique wardrobe essentials. I would love to know in the comments down below what this process has been like for you. Have you come to find that you're not a white shirt person, for example? Definitely let me know. And like always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.